What's happening, everybody? It's Eric from the MMG, and we are happy to have you here. Make sure you follow our website link in the description to join our Discord and talk gaming with us. We are a mature-minded gamers group. We talk video gaming, board gaming, and much more. Today we're talking Windward Horizon, and I'm going to show you how to set up your very own dedicated server. This is going to be on a Windows machine. However, I don't know if this will work on other machines or not. I haven't tested it, so it may. It's it's definitely an unorthodox approach to setting up a dedicated server, very indie-like, which is what this game is. And if you don't know what Windward is, Windward first came out about 10 years ago, the first one. This is the sequel to it, Windward Horizons, and let me tell you, I am really impressed with it. All right, let's get started. I do want to mention this is a little unorthodox approach, and there's some stuff here that I would tell normally tell people not to do. Now, I've scanned the files, and I feel safe doing it, but if at any point of this video that I'm doing something you don't feel safe doing on your own machine, I definitely recommend that you don't do it because I wouldn't normally recommend anybody do this just because of how it's set up. But again, I know the developer. I trust them. So anyways, let's get to it. I'm going to show you how to do this. To download the actual server files right now, the only way to do it is off their Discord that I'm aware of. So you're going to have to join their official Discord right here, Azure in Community, and I'll put a link for that in the video description. And then once you do that, you're going to have to go to the role select, and you need to select this first ship here. Uh, sorry, that's Windward. Windward Horizon Channel, sorry. And pinned up top here is instructions on how to make your very own server right here from Aaron himself. You can see it's right here. You're going to need to download this file. My computer, like I said, didn't like it. So it said, hey, and, and he even mentioned this in here. It's going to be flagged. It, he's right. So I'm like, again, only do this if you feel safe. I normally wouldn't recommend this approach, but since I know Aaron and I've done it myself, I didn't have any issues. So I, you know, I felt like it was safe for me to do. So you're going to want to download this file here and then we're going to extract it. So let me show you what that looks like. All right. So open wherever you downloaded it to. Mine went to my downloads folder. That should be default for most people. And then you're going to have a zip file here, whserver.exe. You're going to want to extract that. So right click on it and go extract all. Now this is going to extract it. You want to put this wherever you want your server to actually be, or it doesn't really matter. It's going to extract it right into your downloads folder again, like I've done. Hit extract. It's going to say, yes, I'm going to go ahead and tell it to replace it because I've already done this. Oh, I have it open. Sorry, if it's open, it'll do that. There we go. So now it re-extracted it. And now you're going to want to put this wherever you want to host the server from. Probably wouldn't recommend doing it in your downloads folder. So I would move it. So what I would do is go back a folder and you're going to see this WH server folder. This is your extraction thing. I would copy it or cut it, excuse me, and then put it wherever you want to actually host your server. So if you have a secondary drive, I'd always recommend that. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm going to put it in my secondary D drive, paste it in there. Now we're going to, whoops, we're going to open the folder, but not click on the EXE here. And then you want to go back to the discord because he has up in his pinned comment here, an example of a dot bat. And you're going to want to copy that. Okay, so I'll copy that and then go back to your folder. Mine appeared to have disappeared or appears to have disappeared. So go back to your folder here and you're going to want to right click and you're going to want to go to new. And you're going to make a text file, text document right here, just like that. Okay, and I'm going to name mine start server and then I'm going to get rid of the dot text and put in a dot bat hit enter it's going to ask you if you're sure you want to make this change it's unstable hit yes now if you if you didn't get that pop up and yours now says start server dot bat dot text what you need to do is go up to these little dot dot or sorry go up to view and then go to show and you want to show file name extensions right here put a check mark there then you can rename it into a dot bat and get rid of the dot text because you want yours to be a dot bat file like that. Now we want to open this. So just open it with any text editor that you have, notepad, notepad plus plus, whatever. And then we're going to paste in there what, what we copied out of the discord. Okay. So see how I pasted it in there. That's what he had. And we're going to change the things. So this first thing is calling the .exe to start the server. This is your name of the server. So as you can see here, he's got server name goes here. So we're going to delete that and put in the mature minded gamers. Next is if you want to change it from the default port, this is the port you're going to have to open. All right. You have to open this on your firewall for your windows firewall and on your router firewall. If you don't know how to do that, this is not going to work for you. So just as a heads up, 
You got to be able to do this. And it's different for everybody. Now, I do show everybody how to do it on the Windows Firewall because that's the same for everybody. If you have Windows 11 or 10, it's very similar. Um, so there will be a video in the description below of how to do that for your Windows Firewall. Your router is going to be a little bit more difficult because they're all different. And there's lots of videos out there covering pretty much every router. So just Google what your router is, how to forward a port. You'll be able to figure it out. Next part here is if it's public. So if this is if it's public viewable. I think you would put in private if you wanted it to not be public. This is the world name. This is what your world is going to be saved as. Okay. So let's say MMG world. I forgot to put the parentheses back in here. So put your parentheses back in your name. There we go. Now we should be good. We're going to hit file save. This is a public server, right? No password. If I want it to be a private server, private, just like that. And that's what we're going to actually do right now. Now I'm going to make it public. I take it back. I'm going to make it public because I want to make sure it's it's working. Great. Then you're going to save it. Now you're going to close this. Now you're going to launch it by starting the start server.bat file right here. This is going to ask you if you want to allow it to the public network. You're going to need to do this if you want other people to join it. Again, it's another risk. So do this at your own discretion. If you don't do this, other people are not going to be able to see your server though. All right. So the server should be up and running. It says loaded MMG world. So it took that correctly. I don't think it shows the server name in here, so we're going to have to open the game. So let's open the game and see if we can see the server now. So launch your game, Windward Horizon, and you're going to go online if you want to try to join it. Accept that. And there it is, Mature Minded Gamers right there. That's our server. So click on that. Joining it. We are in. There we are. We're in our server. Other people will be able to join your server. Like I said, this is public. So anybody can join it. You want to set it to private. Then if you if you do that, let's let's go over that real quick. Then they're going to have to click here, there, and then go to direct connect. Okay, and you're going to have to punch in your IP address, your external IP address for wherever the server is being hosted. Then you would hit join here to join it if it's private. That's how you do that. All right, everybody, that wraps it up. You should be able to host your own dedicated Windward Horizon server. Hopefully this video helped you out. Leave comments below, give it a thumbs up, and make sure you subscribe for more great content. Have yourself a great day.